In the previous video, we learned how to create and configure DSCP scope. In this video demonstration, we are going to see how to configure DSCP reservation. First of all, let's understand what is DSCP reservation. DSCP reservation is a process in which a particular IP address is mapped with one computer that is typically a DSCP client computer that needs to have a same IP address permanently. When this is done, every time the target DHCP client computer requests an IP address from the DHCP server, the map IP address is assigned to it. Since the IP address is reserved for a particular computer while specifying a DHCP reservation, it is not assigned to any other computer even if it is the only address available in the DHCP address pool. DHCP host reservation use the MAC address of a client's network interface. When a DSCP server sees the MAC address during a DSCP request, it match it to an IP address in the reservation list and then assigns that IP address to the host. So let's see the demonstration. Let's going back on our DSCP client computer and this is the our DSCP client computer. As you can see, the currently computer is uh, receiving the IP address information from our DSCP server and this is the physical address of our DSCP client computer and that is 08002734B88D. Let's click on close and close it. Now let's come back on our DSCP server and let's uh, click on reservation. Remember you can directly add this IP address as a reservation but we are not going to add it directly because we want to configure manually host reservation so click on reservation and then right click on it and select new reservation so here we have to specify the reservation name let's specify for demo purpose we want to assign the ip address 192.168.1.22 every time when client sees the mac address 0800 2734B88AD and this is the MAC address of our DHCP client computer. Let's select DHCP and let's click on add to add the new reservation. Let's click on close and under reservation now here we have a reservation for the demo purpose and that is 192.168.1.22 and this is information about routers, DNS and DNS domain name. So let's come back on our DHCP client computer Let's uh, open command prompt and at command prompt, let's type a command ipconfig slash release to release the current IP address. Okay, now let's type command ipconfig slash renew to get a new IP address from DHCP server. Okay, so as you can see, now this time our uh, DHCP client got the IP address 192.168.1.22 because we have created DHCP reservation for this client computer. Let's come back on our DHCP server. Let's click on address list and then right click and select refresh. Okay, now here as you can see we have our client's IP address 192.168.1.22 name lab-cli01.mpr2.lab and under lease expiration as you can see this time we have a reservation and that is currently active. Now suppose if client release the IP address or suppose your client is not currently started yet that time if you see on a DHCP server still under address list we can see the IP address is there but this time under lease expiration as you can see the reservation is currently inactive now when client get a IP address from DHCP that time DHCP mark that lease as a reservation active. So in this way, we can configure DHCP reservation in Windows Server 2016 DHCP server. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you for watching this video.